success. Imagine your teenage daughter barges into your work and announces that she's pregnant in front of everyone. Then she turns your entire life into an MTV reality show. Well, that's exactly what happened to the Abrahams. Get ready for some drama because today we're talking to the most controversial teen mom to hit TV, Farah. Oh. First, she had a baby at 16, then she had her mom arrested for domestic assault. And most recently, this teen mom made headlines for making a sex tape with a well-known porn star. At first, she said it was supposed to be a private tape so she could celebrate her banging body. Well, a couple of million dollars later, the truth comes out. Now, Farah is about to drop another bombshell on this stage. She says she may be pregnant by that porn star. Farah Abraham rocketed to instant fame while starring in the hit MTV reality shows 16 and Pregnant and Teen Mom. My parents found out I was first sexually active when my dad caught me having sex. I was like the popular cheerleader in like a small town. So when I got pregnant, I told my modeling coach and she found an actual casting for MTV 16 and Pregnant. Vera's family drama made tabloid headlines when she called 911 on her own mother. One, what's the address of the emergency? My mom, I need to talk to officers. What's your name? Yeah. We were arguing. I lost control. I wanted to kill her. She grabbed me by the hair and she started pounding on me and hurting me. So I called the police because I was really like, upset and over it. Okay, I'll get some help up to you. Hey, bye. Now Farah is back in the news after the release of a controversial sex tape starring Farah and porn star James Dean. I just see people trying to make money off of me. I need to grab the bull by the horns. Why would my daughter take all her talent and beauty to do something like that? I don't care if everyone sees my I don't care if anyone sees my boob. I'm proud of how I look and how I feel about myself. And I want to remember that moment. Nobody that I am aware of on this planet raises their child to do adult entertainment. When a photo was taken of Farah buying a pregnancy test, fans were left wondering, is Farah carrying the child of a porn star or just desperate for more attention? So I haven't taken my pregnancy test because right now I'm not ready for that shock. I have not had my period in like three months. We'll meet teen mom Farah Abraham in just a minute. But first, let's bring out the mom of this controversial teen mom. Please welcome Deborah to the stage. Hi, Hi Deborah. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. So it, it appears to me that your life is still a reality show. It is. It's an ongoing drama, I guess you would call it. What was the conversation that you two had when you found out about the, the sex tape? Did she come to you at all afterwards? Well, I went back it? to my desk and I discreetly sent my daughter a message. I said, texted, hey, what's with this sex tape? I need to know. People are calling me up on the phone. And basically, I haven't gotten an answer. So then I, I went back to her and I said, hey, because she was out of town. And when she came home, I said, hey, I want to know what's going on because I, I have people talking to me, right? And I want to be able to know what the scoop is. She said, uh, I'm not going to talk about it in front of Sophia. And so I've never... One day she, she might have to. She might, yeah. Why does she think she's, why does she think she's pregnant now? I, I guess, um, you know, I, this is the first I've heard of it. From me? No, 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 not from you, but over the internet. I mean, that was the first I even thought there was anything going on. I didn't. I mean, have do you any think idea. there's a possibility that she's that she's pregnant by James Dean? Well, here's what I want to say as a mom. <laughs> I want to say I know my daughter. I think my daughter uses good judgment, not all the time, but and and when it comes to safe sex. Can you describe some of the good judgment? Because I don't think anyone has... I don't think anyone has seen it yet. Well, I know, I know that she knows how to have safe sex. I do know that. I don't believe... She may know how to have it, but she's, she's not having it. I know. So I would just say I don't believe she's pregnant. 
And if she is pregnant, uh, what, would, what would you do? Would there be another reality do, show? I would, would be... no, 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 no. I think, I think the reality show changed our lives and hurt our family. Yeah. I know a lot of people think, hey, I want Do you get along with Farrah now? Farrah and I have our challenges right now. And I want to have... And what's the main challenge? I think she thinks that I'm the enemy, and I'm not. I love her. I want to have an awesome relationship with her, but I just don't right now. Well, we, we've talked about her long enough. Now it's time to meet the teen mom who just might be pregnant again. Welcome, Farrah. So how are you? I mean, to be honest, I'm not happy how people make things out to be negative when I'm just living my life and learning from it. And I understand some things can be sensationalized, misunderstood, because you're not living my life. But there are challenges, so what, and I'm what, getting what's through mis that. What's misunderstood? about you and I didn't intentionally bring my family's life into a show to ruin it I am very smart when it comes to having sex even well, if I am on you, birth control I, just <laughs> things do happen like my first daughter I was on birth control as well with her I still got pregnant and these are things that are just real and those things happen I don't think you should tear a woman down just because Unexpected things can happen I mean, who, when who's, you try hard. I mean, look, who's tearing you down? <clears throat> the, well, from the like world? the boos and the negatives, I think that's not really a positive. Maybe they just want you to own up to a few things. I do own up to my things. I do take care of my responsibilities and consequences. I live my life. Nobody else is paying my bills. Nobody else is parenting for me. Nobody else is being there. So, yes, I think I do that very well. So the, yeah. the sex tape helped pay the bills. Well, you know, in light of it, no, that didn't help pay the bills. A million dollars? Are your bills more than that? You know, you don't even know how much the settlement was for. I know, it's but probably I more, probably enough to that pay some bills. Me move forward with my restaurant plans and my other business endeavors. So I'm happy for that, and, and I don't think that's a bad thing. All I can say is hopefully some of it will maybe go to Sophia's college fund. Her college is already paid for. Okay, it. Uh, that's good. Yeah. The brightest university she already wants to. So hopefully, maybe now I can pay for the car, the house, every other thing she'd like in her life. I think America is was just a little upset that you made it seem like the the porn tape was an accident. Like, hey, I, no, I, I didn't know a, I was No, it's gonna... not an accident. At first, I you wanted said... to make my own video. It is my own personal right to do what I want with my own sexuality and to be happy for myself. In the light in which the partner who I chose who I didn't know and it was like we had an understanding and those things should remain private. He had but you're still a saying, little bit you're, of a you're, jealousy fair, in some way. You're, you're still saying it was happened. just for your personal... It is a private video. That, that they, and that, I did, and you never and I now did to, sell it, and now it is out there. To, did you ever intend to sell it? No, I did not intend it to be public. I did not intend anyone to know about it. I mean, did, you, so that's you, just, you hired That's a, what I'm moving a, on with. And you know what? I am moving on with my life. So I have said my piece, and you can feel how you like. You can feel how you wish. I have said my piece, and oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just asking simple questions that I okay. think America Good. is asking. They've already you asked. came out here and I said did you about just... 100 interviews this past week for America to know. Well, great. Well, now you can do one for me tonight. <laughs> Good. I mean, how would you feel if your mother was in a sex tape? Well, how, how do I feel about hearing that? My dad cheats on my mother. How do I feel like that's, that's real? I know that that happens. I don't like it. But I also am not going to treat it the same way that I heard about things from my parents. Listen, he, so he, who is right? Who is wrong? We all know here. that my parents handle it the best way they could. I know that I've learned from that, and I will handle it the best way I can when I'm there. All right, that's it, the best you can do. We're going to go to break. And... Uh... Is, is this team mom pregnant with baby number two? Today, Farrah will be taking pregnancy tests to find out. <laughs> Welcome back to the test. We're talking to Farrah Abraham, the former reality star whose porn video, Backdoor Teen Mom, reportedly received more than 2 million visitors in just 12 hours, breaking Kim Kardashian's record. <laughs> 
But did she get pregnant while shooting the flick? I'm no doctor, but it might be kind of difficult with a title like Backdoor. <laughs> we'll find out in just a minute. But first, Farrah and her mom's rocky relationship reached an all-time low when the cops were called over a mother-daughter dispute. Here's what happened. We were arguing, coming back home. Maybe it was from church. She started uh, accusing me of opening up her mail. I lost control. I wanted to hit my mother, like pretty much just wanted to kill her. Then she grabbed me by the hair and she started pounding on me. I was like all like tangled up with like ripping out her hair and like trying to hurt her. It took my hand like this and went up, I guess, hit her on the lip. I look in the mirror and I had like a bloody face. So I called the police because I was really like upset and over it. One with the address of the emergency. Hi, hey, mom. I need a officer. What's your name? Yeah. I was over there chopping up my onions, and in walks this police officer. He's got a nine millimeter weapon with a red dot pointing at my forehead. And the police officer had a gun pointed to her head, like wanting to like shoot her in her head and kill her. So I, I set my knives down on the floor and I said, I'm cooking chili. But still to this day, she feels like that fight was my fault. When I was in the jail and I cried, please forgive her, Jesus, because she doesn't know what she's doing. Well, ladies, uh, have either of you made attempts to apologize for, for that? No. Deborah? It's very hard, you know, so. Um, it, but do you not take into consideration why somebody got that upset at you? <laughs> and you know what? I'm, I'm going to just say this. It's all over America where you see children getting so upset and there is anger no and excuse. violence. No excuse. I don't no even need. A, I don't even need to hear no what they have to say. No excuse. So no if I can't talk, I, mean, so you, I will so just. You, so you, I will get up and live my own life. I don't need to hear no excuse. There are reasons why things get out of control. So there's an there excuse to, to hit you. No, your there are no excuses. All right. Well, when we go to break, uh, imagine being the man between these two. Well, up next we'll meet Michael, Farah's father. Farrah's not happy with what's going on between her parents right now, and she's ready to tell them why. That's next. I think television hurt my marriage and hurt our family. Michael and I are officially divorced. We have been trying to put our relationship back together. My parents getting back together, I don't approve. I really love him. I've always loved him, and I'll never stop loving him. I know that it's not the healthiest thing for them to be together. Welcome back to the test. Teen Mom Farrah's pretty little pout just got poutier because now on top of the tabloid trouble, her parents say they're getting back together. Something most daughters would be happy about, but not Farrah. Why aren't you happy about that? When you see that your parents have fought the whole time growing up and got a divorce after I had my daughter, I think that was for a reason. And if you cannot go to counseling and improve your relationship while you're but married. But maybe they want to give it another chance. Maybe, they, that's fine. maybe they're still in love. And, and also, as a daughter, maybe you should support that and say, hey, listen, we all make mistakes. Listen, maybe you guys can make it work this time. Sure, then go ahead. Do what do you that. mean? But what does that mean, go ahead? I'm just curious. You can make me out to be a bad person I'm for not. how I feel. But how I justify how I felt was by seeing them always fighting, always not getting along for, what was it, like 18 uh, years? I, I can see your I position feel that, if you saw you know, your parents fighting. When you move out, you have your own place. Um, my mother got engaged to somebody else. Some other things, like, you know, just keep progressing in the light that they should not be together. You know, just some people cannot be together even though they may love each other, have had a long time of history together, have accepted, you know, what they've done wrong and those things, but still maybe it might not be right, and that's just the light I'm looking at it as. What, what do you think, Deva? Does that make sense to you? Do you think it's worth it, it, giving it another shot? Absolutely. I absolutely believe that because only we know what we feel and only we know what the problems were. And so you were married for 25 years? Yes. And then 
And we've known each other 27 years. Uh, now it's time to meet the man in the middle. Please welcome Ferris' father, Michael. You don't wear your glasses? No, I oh. can't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I wear mine so that I can see everything. <laughs> So how'd you, how'd you feel, how, I, I'm just curious, how, how did you feel when, you, that, when that sex tape came out? Again, we get it all, every day, every night, from the web, people beating up on my daughter, especially women. You know, if you were a single woman, everybody knows one, everybody knows uh, single parents, she works her off, okay? So if you wanna judge us, go for it, but I tell you what, every one of us has somebody that's been in her position, and she works extremely hard, okay? So take your shot, I'm thick-skinned, I can take just about anything, okay? But I love these two women, I'm proud of these two women, and no matter what, that's not gonna, no matter what I hear or ask, it's gonna change that. But, but, uh, they are strong women, they, 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 but you're not proud of the sex tape, correct? Well, like most pro parents. Like, like, it's not anything to be proud of. Like, I'm not proud of some things that are, like, the title, those things, and, but some things were out of my control. But wait, here, here's the, I'm gonna tell you just, if Sorry, I can just. I'm like, sick and. Sorry, you look great. Emotional. Here, here, here's what I think. I just wanna say one, one thing, because you are smart, you're beautiful, you are a family, you mm -hmm. seem to fight for each other. Yes. I really think the only problem that America and most people have with you is sometimes you just don't own up to why you're, you're doing things. I think they just turned on you for the porn thing because you said, listen, I was just going in to make a, a fun little thing just for me, when it looks to everybody, and it may not, you might be able to convince us all, but we all think that <laughs> you fine. we all think you were going to make a porn and that you were paid in advance. Vivid came to you and said, let's make you want to make a porn, we'll give you a million bucks. And you said, let's do it. But I that's not even what it is. I know you say it's not, but I think you wonder why everyone attacks you. No, I don't wonder. I understand that they don't know. Yeah, and so maybe at some point you, like... at some point you need to just own up and be honest. But that's like world. owning up to something that is completely not what happened. Really? So it's like when the, I am saying as much as I can say legally, then that's all I can say. Take, uh, like, it just makes me sad. But if I have to take the blame for a lot of <laughs> that I do, because I know I made the right choice in the end. Like, I know that I can't, like, put everyone under the bridge because of like I'm so upset but at least I came out of head because of my attorney and it's like that's what I'm saying it's like fine whatever if I have to be the bad person no, I'll be listen, I really you're don't not care even the bad person. but it's like I had to go through a lot of crap just so that I was at least secure enough moving forward in my life because yeah. other things I'm, I'm were out that. of control the, the, I'm just saying you at some point just say all right, all right I made a porn big deal I did it and then everyone will be like... I get, yeah, I mean, I really don't care. Thank you. But you do will. care, because it, it no, upsets you. No, I just care you. about, like, hurtful things that are completely, like, false and you shouldn't be saying about somebody. Yeah, like, but they're saying it because you're denying the fact why you did the porn. Sure, I'll agree At with you. At some point, you could have just said... Even though it's not what it is. That's a hell of a business deal. That's a good number. Let's make, let's make a porn, and then I'll pretend that it was a, an accident and a home movie because I wanted to celebrate how hot I was so I can show people in 30 years how great I looked. You could have had a photograph taken. Here's what I think a watershed moment could be. A watershed? Yeah, a moment that could change everything because you've yeah. already said, I've done 100 interviews this week. I'm telling everyone the exact same thing. No, it's just like, but the exact I hear same, the same stuff. I know, but you know why? Because you're defending it like it was an accident. Like I accidentally... Because our, that you is what it is. I accidentally have to go through all this and I'm going an, through it's, it. But it's not an accident. You did something. You shot a porn. You said it was just for you, but you hired Vivid. No, I didn't. This is what they do. Oh, no, they I hired didn't. you. I'm sorry. No, they, they didn't. Really? They gave you a million dollars? No. There's three different companies who are adult entertainment companies so, who so came 
to me, which had to talk to my attorney, and we had to say, Farrah, okay. now, do you want to move forward? And I did, because I was like, this is a smarter way to move forward, and I can separate myself. And I did. I moved it out. I don't care if people see naked No, but see, people. but that's smart. Like, let's all act like, see, oh, but my that, God, but nakedness that's on, is But horrible. that's honest. I believe that yeah. three companies I don't, came to okay. you. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. But what I'm saying is... I'm happier, I'm moving forward, and if no. you want to harp on what is, and I've already said, harp on it till you die. Well, I'm the moving only on. reason I'm See harping on it is because you've never come clean about it yet. And yes, can, I have. You're denying that you made a porn because you wanted to get paid and make a okay, porn. Okay, so today, you want to be right? You're right today. Okay? I know I'm right today, and it's important. <laughs> It's a test. We're just here to help. <laughs> you know, everyone tries to help, but I just am like, no, but what's only... wrong with your help? Because my counselor really helps me at home. Really, really, really? is real. I, I just don't, I don't get that sense. And you know what? I'm not going to, like, pick on that. Give, 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 Do your give thing. Give her a chance. Give her a chance. Do your thing. Whatever. Well, I don't have a thing. I'm just here. <laughs> In life, if you're honest out of the gate, yeah. no one will ever judge you because you're being honest. You can't fail. I think you can do anything you set your mind to. You know? I, I, really, I really do. You know, and you, your parents love you, and, yep. you know, they're trying to get back together, and I, this can be a great family again. <laughs> You know, it'd be nice if the, world, to that. if the world sees you and says, listen, they've had some obstacles, but man, Sophia is a wonderful little girl. Yeah. They're surrounded by love. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, that's all that really yes. matters. Yes. I mean, right? I mean, yeah. she proved that she loved, no one's going to deny that, you know, you're a great mom. Yeah trying to like find my own way too but it's Listen, just you had a child at, at 16 all right that, that's hard to do anyway let alone have it filmed every day i mean that, that's i mean crazy. also just losing my boyfriend i think was like really hard at that time so and that was two months before sophia was born right yes yep. All right, well, when we come back, uh, the results of Farrah's pregnancy test. Could it be possible she is having another baby? We'll find out when we come back. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to the test. Teen mom Farrah is here with her parents. Today's issues, she may be pregnant. She doesn't want her mom and dad getting back together. Oh, and she doesn't want her daughter hanging out with grandma. Right now, Sophia and I are apart, and that doesn't make her happy or me happy. I'd rather not even be around my mother, and like she really has like a mental issue if she has to be fake consistently. Sophia needs love. We were gonna plant a garden together. We started, we planted some flowers, and um, I still have hope. I just want her to know right from wrong. And I feel like my mother, is in the wrong a lot and just leaves my daughter right down the wrong road with her. And I'm not okay with that. So you're not spending enough time or? No. Well, also I moved, so my mother lives where she lives. I live where I live. I don't get to talk to Sophia. <laughs> like, we know what the situation is and how it is. And it's because a lot of boundaries I feel or I guess certain touchy topics that make me sad and make me get upset, like regardless of parenting or when I need to get in touch with my daughter. And when I am around my mother or she's in my mother's care, it just seems that communication is off. Things are done not properly for like development of Sophia. And I just, I guess when you get so upset, it's kind of like, okay, you need to just detract a little so that you can not, you know, be frustrated and you can not be mad all the time. I so, don't, so her you know? parenting skills, are, are, they're different than your approach? They're different. And also my mother doesn't listen to me when I say things or voice things. Do you so not that's listen? Why, yes, I listen. Does she you, can listen you can listen, but if you don't act on what you're hearing and just accept it, 
I mean, then there's no differences. It's just the same aggravation. I respect what you say to me, and then I try to talk to you, and you get upset at me. And I, I want to have a good relationship. I want to okay, have but we can a good this, communication. Um, but I'm just living it, and we've said this before, and I just keep reliving, like, the horrible pattern of I say something, you'll go do the opposite. That's why I get upset. Like, uh, for instance... I've already said this example before, but when we were at the airport together, I don't know what, what we were flying out for. I went to go call Sophia. The line was busy at Grandma's house. You were on the phone with Sophia, and I'm like, oh, you're talking to my daughter, and I got upset at the airport. You asked it's me to talk to her. I was I said, so okay. upset that you couldn't even let me know that you were calling her beforehand. You just did it on you your own. You were busy working on oh, yeah. something, and I didn't but guess to what? bother She's you. my daughter, so you should probably say, hey, I'm going to call Sophia. I wanted to talk to her. Is that okay? And do you want to talk to her? I mean, those you are just busy things. working. It's okay. I didn't think about that. It's so okay. So please forgive me. It's I just okay. wanted to tell her goodbye. But I'm saying certain things like that are not okay. Well, I don't know unless unless you talk to me. I've already said these things. All you have to do is so say. So, anyways, now where I am in life is, so now where I am is, you have to call me now to notify me if you want to call Sophia if she's with my grandpa or if she's with another place to talk to her because I don't like not knowing when my daughter's talking to somebody or who's calling or those things. I, I text you, I call gone, you. Was upset and you, that bad, you that's don't, gone to you that don't point. respond back for weeks or days. Sometimes I won't because I don't feel like talking. That's, that's my right. If I feel that way, then I can't well, act I that way. I have a right to communicate with the rest of the family if you don't want to talk to you me. Can, you can't communicate. You can't, that's completely fine. But if I don't feel comfortable with talking to somebody and if, I feel that my daughter shouldn't talk to them at the time, then that's how I feel. You cannot respect that and you cannot be okay with it. You can act like I'm a horrible person, but I've only I been led to that because somebody person. made me upset. No. So you it's have, okay. It's your choice to be upset. That's right. I did not try and to offend you. it's my choice also you. to separate myself so I don't get to that point. Well, I'm sorry about that. No, you don't have to be sorry that, because no, it I hasn't am, changed. No, I am, because that detracts from our whole family. A family's there to support each other. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. All right. I support you, Farah. I love you. I want the very best for her. And I want her to look me in the eye while I say this. I'm, Mom, you've already said I it I always, me. always, always support you. I just want you to make good, strong, right choices. Well, I feel like I've made the good, strong, right choices with the stuff I have to deal with. So is that the only thing, is the, the phone calls to Sophia, or is there other, other Or when examples? we're just at home, just think, certain little things just get out of control. What does she bring up that, that's inappropriate for Sophia in front of her? We probably shouldn't bring up, like, my sexual business or we probably shouldn't bring up things that would cause arguments and fights because no child likes to be around that. Those are just two big things that I think no, no child, child should be likes around. To, no child wants to see their mother in a, a sex tape. Either. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, I agree. maybe you so should have just gone. Should you should. Because I agree, and that's why I don't have my daughter seen a sex tape. And I don't know why anyone would think that would be okay to show a four-year-old. So why do we why do we keep bringing it up? Like when she is when she's a teenager and she, we're Listen, going through you, those you, birds and those bees. She's, she's not going to be four forever. Of course we're going to get to that point. Do I act like she's going to be four? I was just a teenager. I know how that is. All right. So is there another baby on the way? The test results coming up. I grabbed my pregnancy test because who knows what's going on with my body, but I did not take the pregnancy test yet. It's like, I don't really want to change my life right now. You don't want to have a baby with somebody who you really don't like anymore. I do not want to date a porn star. I do not want to get married to a porn star. I think I deserve to have a better man in my life. Welcome back to the test. So is Farrah pregnant? It's time to find out. Just days after her sex tape being released, Farrah Abraham was caught uh, buying a pregnancy test. Is she pregnant? Uh, here's what her porn star uh, co-star had to say about the pregnancy rumors. To say you're potentially pregnant is not something to joke about. 
When you knowingly involve another human being and a publicity stunt around that, a child is not something to be taken lightly. This is a type of publicity I do not agree with and I do not want to participate in. Joking or lying or using pregnancy to get attention and media is not cool. What's your reaction to that from James? I really don't take into consideration anything he says. And I'm not the one worried about publicity stunts, media, and attention. Also, I don't ever joke about or anything around children or my daughter or pregnancy because that is, because I, I have a daughter and he doesn't. Mm -hmm. I know what real life <clears throat> is, what I'm gonna have to do when I have a child. That's why I haven't even taken the pregnancy test because I do know it's a financial thing. There's also, maybe I can't do You work. bought the pregnancy test, but then you decided. Because I like really, I, I'm like, I'm like going to have a hard time even hearing from you. Like, maybe I should just say it like this. If I am pregnant, I, no matter what, will take care of everything that I need to. I will love another child like I love my daughter, and I'm not going to be happy that it's with somebody who is completely in denial and has his own issues. But and will, that's going to be separate. Will he be involved in... You know what? I would rather just raise a child by myself. And I think since I've already done that with Sophia, I know it's really difficult. But if and he wants to be in the child's life, you're going to have to allow that. No, I don't really think I need to allow that. I think so. No, I don't. I don't care how messed up it is. You guys don't know the person who I had sex with, so you obviously should just side with him and just be like all about media attention or whatever else. But I feel that I don't want somebody like that in my life who has done what they have done to my life around my child. So that's how I feel, and I can raise a child on my own. So James Dean has done this to your life? Obviously, I let... I should take the blame for it. Why, At least why half. would I even? Yeah. I'll just take all the blame. No, it's you, okay. Just take half. But I just That's feel all, like. I'll, I'll, just half. That's all. See, they, they support that. With, with regards to the porn, just take half, half the responsibility. Yeah. You were there. Because. I am present. All right. Well, the moment has come to find out. Just keep the paper in there. Are you ready, Fair? I'm going to just... To find out if there's going to be a little James Dean running around? No, you should like... Oh, my God. <laughs> it should probably be, be a girl. But what... Little what Jimmy I, Dean. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just... What are... I'm curious. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, just what if it's negative? What if it's positive? What am I... What's going to happen? I don't know. Listen, it, if it's positive, you're probably going to have a baby. <laughs> Like I say, I don't know much, but I know certain things. So where's the champagne to celebrate? I don't know what's going on. Oh, my All God. Right. Negative. The pregnancy test... Is a negative. Roger that negative. Do you think you're a mind reader? I think it shouldn't be positive. You stay out of this, Mama. <laughs> The test was negative. Fair, you are not pregnant. Oh, I said, like, thank God. The end of the sweat over here. You are not pregnant. I think no we should all. No more porn. I think we should all right. go home and not have sex ever again, right? I, I, th I think what you, now you just have one child to focus on. And that's. Great. I'm and happy. that's that, that's the issue here. Right. And also, if your parents want to give it a shot, let them. Yeah. I mean, who are we to judge anyway? You know. All right. I mean, look at your dad. Your dad is all love. We're just all look love. It. My dad's a happy person. All right. All right. Let's they love back. you. And you, look, I'm not pregnant. It's like we should not be crying. We should be happy. Listen, I, I think he's happy just because like, you're all here together trying. Yes. 
Amen. You know, Amen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Sorry about that. We're here because we love Pharaoh. We do. Yeah. And the, the truth is, listen, I, I think a lot of America loves, loves Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Yeah. Listen. All right, we'll be right back. Hopefully this family can find some peace outside of the limelight. Let's bring out the one thing they all agree on. The love of their life, Miss Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Are you fine, honey? Sophia, hi, Kirk Fox, the test. <laughs> Hi. So hi, hi your, your mom didn't like me at first. <laughs> <laughs> I need a rabies shot. Quick. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hi, well, hi, thank hi. you for coming out. Hopefully, uh... <laughs> if you have somebody in your life that you don't trust or you want to put to the test, go to thetesttv.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay,